Hi, I'm Richard from Pagefly. Want to showcase your blog posts on your store's page. This is a great way to share more info with your customers and boost your search engine ranking. In this video, I will guide you how to use Shopify blog post list element in Pagefly. Firstly, we need to access Shopify blog post list element. On the page editor, click on the add Shopify element icon in the element catalog and click on the blog post list element in the drop-down menu. You also can search to find this element in search bar here. There are five common variations. You can choose the one you like. Drag and drop the element into the page editor and then start using it. When you drag and drop the post list element into the editor page, you can choose custom blog on the general tab. I will choose this one. When you drag and drop the blog post list element into the editor page, you can choose custom blog on the general tab. In general tab with items per loading, you can adjust the number of blog posts displays by dragging the bar or insert the number in the box. There will be two layout types, grid and slideshow. If you choose slideshow, there will be some different element that you can choose items per show. You can adjust the number of items you want to display. In display partial item, it means you can choose to enable display partial item or not. Scroll down to set navigation type and pagination type. With navigation type, you have six options can chosen for the blog post list, slideshow. With pagination type, you can customize among the four predefined types. If enabled, the slideshow's height will match that of the highest slide, including those that are hidden. If enabled, you can choose three types of vertical alignment. In addition, you can set item per row lets you adjust the number of items in a row, item spacing to set space between items. You can reverse the order of items by enabling the reverse order option. When you enable the reverse order option, the blog list will be ordered from oldest to newest. Here is the loading mode. None is chosen by default. Select pagination if you want to display it as the page's numbers. Load more option will be displayed as a load more button. This feature only works on the live page. Now click the blog post image element to show this image, you need to upload it in Shopify admin. If you have more than one blog post, but the size of each blog image is different. You can set square to make all blog post image have the same size, so it will look more professional. You also can customize the size of each collection image by selecting custom and image ratio and no and enable full width. Here you can choose cover or contain for image object. But do you see the difference between two of them? You can set image position by choosing the position here. Turn on this option if you want to link the blog post image to the corresponding blog post page. Similarly to the blog post image, I click the blog post title here. In the general tab, enable this option so that when I click on the blog post title, the corresponding blog post page will open switch to. The styling tab and you can see all styling options for the element you can change the content color and adjust the font size and more you can notice that when i change the style for one blog post title style of other blog post titles are also changed next i will show you blog post meta blog meta element helps you show information of the author who writes the blog and the time it is created remember that you cannot change the time the blog post is created but if you want to change the author, you can do it in Shopify, or you can change any text for meta text in general tab here. Please note that you should put the blog post meta in the blog post details to make the most of this element. Blog post excerpt is the summary of your post content and is used to shorten your posts so that only the introduction or a summary of your post is displayed rather than the full post. There are two types of description display, which are full or compact. You can set that the length of compact description by adjusting the number here. Enable this option if you want to show more length. If you do not want to show more or less text, you can change here. To make the product list more appealing, you can customize the style for it. For example, I will add a pixel value to the padding of the element and add a background color to it. Don't forget to switch to mobile to check the responsiveness. 
You can check the video tutorial and description to make your page responsive on mobile. Now click Save and publish the page. Let's check the live page. This is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues. Thank you for watching.